Devastation on the Hawaiian island of Maui. The death toll from the fires has reached a confirmed 55 people. Officials are warning that number will likely soar even higher. Thousands of people have been displaced. Thousands more remain without power or methods of communications. The Maui County Mayor says the historic town of Lahaina is, quote, all gone. The town has no power, no internet. No one knows how many survivors or victims could still be in those scorched remains you're looking at. Residents of the hard hit town are allowed back into their homes today to get a first look at the ashes left behind. CNN's chief climate correspondent Bill Weir is on the island of Maui with more now on the utter destruction. The trees that you guys see behind you right here, this was all from the tornado that came through. That's crazy. No, we've never even seen a tornado in Hawaii. In a place so familiar with weather extremes. Wow, it's crazy. Maui locals have never seen anything like the firestorm that obliterated Lahaina. We just saw a little, like, smolder of smoke. And we're like, wow, like, the house had survived, and now there's a little brush fire. And then within, like, five minutes, the whole thing was engulfed. It just went up in flames. Really? There's nobody there to put anything out. We're just pulling into Lahaina now, just getting our first glimpse at this town after hearing these nightmare stories and it is worse than you can imagine it looks like a world war ii set like a bomb went off here just utter scorched devastation everywhere melted boats in the harbor what was once the capital of the kingdom of hawaii and one of the most well-preserved towns in the nation is ash including bill wyland's famous art gallery and he says he escaped the flames on his Harley Davidson, riding around evacuees trapped between fire and ocean. Had I took the car instead of the motorcycle, I'd probably been with everybody else jumping in the water. It was, it was, I mean, it was flames were shooting over the top, coming at. I didn't even want to look behind me because I knew they were be behind me. And there's nowhere to go. You're pinned between just the pinned, and that's fire what happened. And the ocean. That's what happened to all the people. I think is all those cars that were sitting waiting for someone to move in front of them. No one was moving anywhere. You were, you were dead in the water. Yeah. yeah. They all jumped and in the ocean, and in. a lot of them didn't make it, from what I heard. No, a lot of people. Didn't I'm sure if the if the winds were 80 miles an hour, the, the surf must well, have been. It wasn't just that. There was diesel fuel floating in the water as oh, well, gosh. and the Coast Guard couldn't come in too far because of the reefs, and a lot of the people can't swim that far, and then a couple of people died of smoke inhalation as well. They were just inundated. I know so, a lady that stood in the water for eight hours. Farmer Eddie Garcia lost a small fortune in crop damage, but now is bracing for much bigger losses. My God, like when I was down there early, there were uncles and people I know in the street dead. People were trying to get to the end of the street. You can tell by where the cars that were parked. They say hundreds of people jumped in the water. You personally lost uh, crops? Like what, what is the... I lost nothing compared to what people lost. I lost farm stuff and food and whatever, tiny little things compared to what people lost. People lost their family. They lost their houses. Everything we've seen all the landmarks, everything that we've seen for years, history, it's all gone. This is the uh, closest port to the south of Lahaina here in Maui. Yesterday we saw everyone from fishermen to charter captains who are usually shooting surfer videos uh, going out and trying to bring relief. But now you're seeing road traffic. They just started opening up the road to Lahaina, but there's so much confusion uh, right now, we just had someone drive by yelling their frustration about the government response right now. Uh, you know, Jake, I've covered a few of these from the Florida Keys in Irma, where we heard really horrific stories about body counts that might be pending. We saw it in Paradise, California, the deadliest fire in U.S. history. But about 90 percent of those people turned out to be just fine. Right now, so many people are worried that the death toll could go into the many hundreds because of the lack of communication. So much electricity is down. Uh, people just don't know, have no way to get proof of life uh, for their families. So the outpouring now is, is starting. The compassion, Jeff Bezos, who's fond of Hawaii, and his wife donating $100 million to a Maui relief uh, right now. But the days ahead, we're afraid, are just going to become more grim as people come to grips with how much has truly been lost here, Jake. All right, Bill, we are on Maui for us with the devastation. Thank you so much, Bill. And we know so many of you watching and listening right now want to help the victims of these Hawaii wildfires. You can uh, get an idea of the best ways to do so if you go to cnn.com slash impact, cnn.com slash impact. 
where we provide a list of vetted resources. Another way to do it is you can text Hawaii, H-A-W-A-I-I, to 707070 in order to donate. Hawaii, 707070.